Metro Manila. The national capital region of the Philippines is rapidly growing. While its development and urbanization are well expanded beyond its city limits to its surrounding areas. The bustling mega city is home to over 17 million people in an area of less than 620 square kilometers, making the region one of the most densely populated metropolis in the world. As the country's center for finance, commerce, and economy, it's home to the most vibrant central business district in Asia Pacific. The Philippines is one of the fastest growing economies in the region, with its consistent 6 to 7 percent annual growth rate, it's one of the best performing economies globally. Such economic growth is driven by the following factors, which have also spurred demand for real estate. As Metro Manila offers some of Asia's fastest appreciating, yet most affordable properties. With highest rental yields and lowest vacancies. New central districts and urban developments are on the rise transforming the urban landscape of Metro Manila. Due to its limited land area, the Philippine government in partnership with local and international investors will develop new urban centers through land reclamation to expand its business district and develop a new growth center within the region. The capital of the Philippines has a persistent problem, living space for urban life. This makes reclamation a great option for creating living and community development space for the Filipino people. These are the updates on the biggest land reclamation projects in Metro Manila. The Pasay Reclamation Development Project in Manila Bay is a new and modern commercial and residential property development to be run by SM Prime Holding Inc. The project involves the reclamation of approximately 726 hectares through the construction of three artificial islands according to international standards to ensure a safe living environment. The islands have been designed to withstand potential large earthquakes. In addition, shore protection works are designed to withstand typhoons. In response to fast-growing cities, and a rapidly modernizing economy. Designed by local and international planners, and engineers. It will provide a new home for 576,000 residents, 924,000 jobs, and 851,000 tourists per year. The reclamation will play an important role in the growth of the region, and in Philippine cities. It's a new dawn for the Philippines. A truly global city. The city of the future. A sustainable city to live, work, learn, and play. A green inclusive city with open spaces. Putting the Philippines at par with Hong Kong, Singapore, and Sydney. With a world-class transportation network. And a CBD with fast connectivity to the airport and to the metro. The project is truly a milestone. A unique model of collaborative development. Aiming towards greater competitiveness and providing greater opportunities for the people. For the reclamation activities, Boscalus will deploy a number of trailing suction hopper dredgers, over a period of two years including its mega hopper dredgers. The entire reclamation area will be compacted with vibro and dynamic compaction, to ensure soil stability. The outer perimeter of the islands, will be protected with a combination of rock revetment and a concrete wave wall. Preparatory work is scheduled to commence immediately, and work on site is expected to start within the first quarter of 2020. The reclamation activities are expected to be completed within three years, and the total project duration including land development is five years. Horizon Manila is a 419-hectare reclamation project, consisting of three islands that will include industrial and commercial projects, as well as public housing projects for the residents of the city of Manila. It has been described as one of the biggest reclamation projects in Manila Bay. The city built on scratch is mapped into three islands, arranged east to west with long faces along the north-south axis, with a four-kilometer-long canal park, as the main connecting feature in between the isles. 
The Canal Park not only connects the three islands but also provides Horizon with a public park at its core that stretches all the way to the water's edge, ensuring that Manila Bay Sunset will always belong to the public. This urban valley recalls the settlement of Manila along the Pasig River and bolsters the idea of Manila as a city by the river. A viaduct with a monorail system allows direct access from Manila to the islands. From the central station, the trackless electric tram system loop around the development, and no place on the island will be more than a five-minute walk away from a tram station. Meanwhile, buildings are designed to minimize heat, while the vertical massing creates clustered towers that keep certain areas shaded all day. There will be a wide array of facilities and amenities, to allow a diverse mix of entertainment for its residents, such as pop-up galleries, and a state-of-the-art basketball arena. A Memorandum of Understanding was signed between the City of Manila and the Philippine Reclamation Authority on June 2, 2017. The master plan for the project was designed by WTA Architecture Plus Design Studio, a local Filipino architecture and design firm. The project was approved by the Philippine Reclamation Authority in 2019. The master plan calls for the creation of 28 distinct communities for 100,000 residents, which will be situated on three islands bisected by a 4-kilometer-long canal park. A total of 83 hectares will be allotted for open green space, which will occupy a fifth of the project's total area and each district is planned to have its own development guidelines. Solar City Manila is a mixed-use development to be built on 148 hectare reclaimed land in Manila Bay. Adjacent to the north of the cultural center of the Philippines complex, and west of the Manila Yacht Club. Equipped with the latest technology with renewable and sustainable energy, Manila Solar City stands as a benchmark of today's city's development and progress. As part of the Manila Cavite Coastal Project envisioned several decades ago, the city will be developed as disaster resilient, using the advanced concept of technology. Aiming to have an environmentally friendly city, by using renewable energy such as solar, wind, and biomass. All buildings will have their own solar panel to contribute the energy production. While maximizing the wind energy, all buildings will be designed to have an open ground floor to have breathable corridors and walkways. By these, the city layouts require less air cooling and conditioning. The city will also feature an effective intermodal system, that aims to minimize the use of private cars. The public transport was designed not to obstruct the traffic flow of the ground. A monorail system will also be developed. The reclaimed area will have three islands, East Island 1, the closest to the Manila Yacht Club, measuring 28.7 hectares. East Island 2, 36.8 hectares and West Island, the farthest, 82.4 hectares. It will be developed by the consortium of the Manila Gold Coast Development Corporation and the City of Manila. With the partnership with contractors of Hong Kong Airport and Palm City in the Middle East. Navotas Boulevard Business Park is an under-construction commercial and business center in Navotas. It will rise on 650 hectare reclaimed land, and has been under construction since 2019. The development is envisioned to create a mixed-use community with residential, institutional, commercial, and industrial areas suitable for port facilities, marine, and tourism. Its master plan was designed by Servana Jurong. Navotas City, dubbed as the fishing capital of the Philippines is part of the informal sub-region of Metro Manila. Recognizing the need to diversify its economy, the city of Navotas decided to reclaim 576.7 hectares of land for urban and industrial development. Considering that Navotas is the only city with water access that can provide large-scale port and logistic developments, the project could have significant and positive industrial impacts on future developments in the region which could become a center and gateway for a future industrial district of the northern region. Understanding the site's economic potential on a national level, and development strategies with an emphasis on building competitive advantages including technology development, industrial clustering, sustainable designs, and city branding.
Pase Harbor City Project is a 265-hectare reclaimed area between the Pase Reclamation Development Project and Horizon Manila. The project is part of the Pase Eco City Grand Vision to build a sustainable, eco-friendly, and world-class metropolis, consistent with its mission to promote the quality of life of its people. To date, the project has already reclaimed 117 hectares of submerged lands above water, a testament to the capabilities of PHCC and its EPC contractor Netherlands-based Royal Boscalis Westminster as one of the world's top dredging companies. The project is set to be completed with horizontal development in 2028 including roads, bridges, drainage, water, power, sewerage, communications, and other primary utilities and facilities. The proposed new Manila Bay City of Pearl, located at the heart of Manila is deemed cancelled. The 407 hectares of land is the biggest self-sustaining smart city in Asia, planned to host more than 500,000 citizens and create over 100,000 jobs. New Manila Bay is a key development project between China and the Philippines under the Belt and Road Initiative. It was expected to be completed in seven phases over 20 years, in which the initial three-year reclamation project will begin in August 2017, while the first phase of the construction project will be scheduled to be announced in early 2019. Its proposed location was currently under development by other reclamation projects.